Hello, my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to do your auto guiding with Maxim DL. First step you'll need to do when you get ready to set up your auto guiding is you want to take the uh, lens cap on your auto guider scope and you want to leave that on. You want to take a dark first to get Maxim DL auto guiding set up. Connect your camera and after the camera is connected uh, then you go to the the guide tab. Now to get to this camera control you have to go over to here uh, next to the little uh, observatory there's a little toggle camera control and that'll pop open this uh, menu here. So anyway what you do here on the guide is you select your exposure time. In this case I'm going to use two seconds and we're going to start off by exposing it now I'll go ahead and click the start button and the very first thing it pops up is it says that you need a dark frame so please cover the auto guider so I already have the uh, auto guider cam camera covered so I'm just gonna say okay and it's gonna take a two second dark and the dark will help give a better signal for the star now it's asking to uncover the auto guider camera so I'll go do that next. The auto guider camera is now uncovered so I will just say OK and what it will do now is it will take an exposure and hopefully we'll have some stars there and we do have some uh, stars in there right at the moment uh, what you can do is the next step is you hit this little calibrate uh, button now there's a couple of ways you can calibrate it you can actually select a star by clicking on the star and then uh, start the calibration or you can just simply click the calibrate and just hit start and then Maxim DL will find the brightest star that it likes so let's just go ahead and start that off I'm gonna go ahead and and it's going to start taking exposures you can actually see over here in this little um, information pane right over here what it's doing. It says it's moving the telescope. Now as it when it finds a star it'll place a little red line as it moves it and it of course chose this biggest brightest star in the group right here and you can see this little uh, red line uh, right on the uh, the star and what it will do when it gets done is this red line will go up and down and then it should go left and right if for some reason when you get ready to do a, a, an auto an auto guide setup and the star doesn't move enough you may not be pointing in a, a direction that it, it entirely likes so if like in my case sometimes I have a problem with uh, northeast uh, pointing stars but if you just like point at maybe due east and pick a star it'll it'll uh, do a good job on it now you can see it when it's done here there's like this little red L and the uh, over here in the camera control window it says that the camera is idle so now it is done doing the uh, tracking of, of calibrating the uh, the star so now we just click over here and you click on it where it says track and then you click start and then what you will notice is that it will take this large frame of stars and it'll place the star in a little smaller frame uh, right here and what it's doing is it's actually doing the guiding now with that star that it's selected. Let's move that over here so you can so you can see it. Well, there's the star and then if you look right over here, you'll see that the the uh the movements of the errors that that it's going on the x and y and uh those errors are just their informational letting you know that how much the uh the telescope moved to keep on track with that star and once you've got your guide star there then you're all set to uh, go off and do some imaging. If this is your first time watching I would like you to subscribe. I publish two astrophotography videos on the 1st and 15th of every month. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.